previously in my secret past on YouTube. This was my humble beginning into a community I would learn is called LPS Tube. Hi. LPS Tube videos have racked up tens of millions of views and accumulated a huge audience. These toys gladly took my money. All of my friends would remember me as the LPS girl. The love for LPS and the passion for making these videos had faded away. Okay, at this point, I decided enough was enough. I needed to change what I was doing. I was entering my senior years of high school and felt like juggling YouTube with bigger grading assignments and exams was definitely going to clash. So during the holiday period before I started year 11, AKA my second last year of school, it was grind time. I recorded tons of videos and edited them all to cover myself for over the next two years. That means I wasn't uploading weekly anymore, but it was enough to keep the channel afloat and my audience satisfied while my focus was elsewhere. I could effectively be on hiatus without anyone even knowing. And oh my, I can guarantee you these were my best years during high school. I became more social, made new friendships and of course focused on schooling. I was happy and for once not constantly worrying about YouTube. That is, until this fateful day. I was standing outside with my friend Angel and this other guy who actually graduated the year before us all but he was at our party for some reason. We were all standing and all vibing and talking. Then he said, Hey, so I heard you have a big toy YouTube channel. I was in full shock. Just when I thought I could finish school with no one knowing. How did he find out? Did I let it slip somehow? What if he's told everyone at this party? I could feel myself getting lightheaded and my gut reaction was to say, no, that is not true. Oh really? I heard it from this guy and he told me and I was like, oh, no way. So I tried looking up and I couldn't find anything and I was just really lost. Also, how cool is Sid from Ice Age? I've stayed quiet for seven years and on the last ever school event, this happens! It was the only thing on my mind for the rest of the night. Paranoia was at an all-time high. With my quick calculations, I figured it must have came from one of my brother's friends who had known about it for the longest time but decided to spill the tea to this new guy as they were now friends. Yay. I was just praying no more of that tea would be spilt. But this wasn't the last time this happened to me. My big important HSC exams were coming up real quick and I was desperate for a math tutor to hopefully boost up my grade because I was failing quite miserably for the whole year. Relatable. <laughs> one of my teachers was kind enough to help me out and well, in one of my lessons, he randomly asked me this. Hey Jess, I want to ask you something. Some of the boys in the year below you were trying to convince me you had a toy YouTube channel. They couldn't find anything though, so I'm not convinced. So I figured I would ask you. What? Again? My teacher? Haha, <laughs> no, it's not true. Someone keeps making up these things about me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, I was going to say, I didn't think you would be capable of that. Ha <laughs> Um, okay, quick roast, but I will take it. Ha ha ha! If only he knew. Fortunately for me, this marked the last time someone asked me about YouTube. I was officially out of school now and didn't know what I was going to do with my YouTube. Throughout my exam period the previous year, I had thoughts about creating a brand new channel and starting from scratch, and thus the idea of Jelly Jess was born. But here's a little plot twist to throw in the mix. I also went back to LPS for a little bit. I still had some extra videos I had filmed forever ago, but I figured why not give it another crack and film some new videos as well. For some reason in my head, I thought, oh, remember how I didn't like making LPS videos? Maybe if I go back after such a long break, I'll enjoy it again. Ha, 
It's understandable, I mean a lot of them are adults after all, and while there's nothing wrong with using toys as a medium to tell stories, some may feel that they've kind of outgrown LPS tube and want to move on to bigger things. Thank you Wizzy for putting my feelings into words. However, it was kind of hard to move on without the feeling of disappointing my audience. So for the time being, I stuck to pre-filmed slash edited videos and uploaded here and there again. But as you guessed it, I eventually stopped uploading videos altogether. I never made a video straight out saying I quit. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I'd just come back again in the future. But as fate would have it, this was the end of my journey with LPS Tube. I noticed in 2019, the LPS community on YouTube had died down a lot. But as soon as copper rolled around, if you know, you know, the LPS community just fell apart. Creators couldn't communicate to their audiences because comment sections were removed, revenue was cut or sometimes completely taken away, and the content wasn't being pushed on the platform anymore so views were consistently low. It's a truly sad state of events and while I understand the intention behind the act, ultimately many creators have lost their jobs and passion for the craft and most of the larger LPS tubers have quit their channels. No surprise, this caused a lot of creators to quit making videos as it wasn't a sufficient job anymore. and. Subsequently, a lot of fans engaged in different communities where their voices could actually be heard. Even the biggest LPS YouTuber and one of my friends back in the day, LPS Hannah quit once she hit her 10 year anniversary. I love you and I've loved creating content for you over these 10 years. <laughs> this really was the death of the community. My LPS Pet World, who now has an animation channel called Jelly Jess. Again, really cool to see how like these people have moved on and like used their experience as LPS tubers, how that contributed to their art form in the future. But a series of hers I was obsessed with was Dares with Dopey. For some added context, here's some insight into the type of videos I had running on my channel throughout its existence. Dares with Dopey, the crowd favorite. This was actually meant to be a filler series, but it stayed. A series where the character Dopey would attempt dares sent in from viewers. Parodies, the best performing videos. These were improvised skits based on whatever the newest animated children's movie was. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Hold up, wait a minute, I'll just come and get it. Okay, here we go. My favorite was Finding Dory, I think. Look, it's been like five years. I hope you remembered our handshake. I'm squirt! One, two, three! One, two, three! Hi! Filming the LPS popular parody though, that was a pretty fun one. Come on, Mimi! Come on, Gigi! Mimi! Crazy Cat Lady videos. These were skits with this weird chaotic cat character. Always a lot of fun. I really liked the game show one. Drum roll, please. They're dead! <laughs> okay, they're not dead. Fake LPS, a series of unboxings where I show fake LPS and how scary they look. Ew! Fast food chains, a series of skits centered around popular fast food establishments. My favorite from memory would probably have to be the McDonald's drive through Hi, what can I get for you? A big sloppy kiss. Oh, okay, portion it. Oh, I'm trying, okay? It's just really heavy. I think it's going. Squiddy, a short mini series I made with this keychain I've had since I was a kid. I lost my toothbrush. Unboxings, usually opening furniture and sets like Sylvanian families, but sometimes opening pets and other things too. The rest was all random stuff. Skits like the Pancake Monster and the Go Man commercial, Would You Rather's, Q&A's, reactions. The normal Go Man. The normal Go Man. Another normal Go Man. We also have... The young go man, the go woman, the young go woman, the old man, <laughs> the wise old man, the organic go man, and a whole lot more. 
Even though I haven't made or watched these LPS videos in so long, there are so many memorable quotes that I use in everyday life to this day. I've been listing them whenever they pop up and I'd like to share them all with you now. This is for you. This is for you. <laughs> Radio Pip. Radio Pip. Boom, you're done. Boom, you're done. It's for while. <laughs> Remember on the note? Remember on the note? Business studies. Business studies. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. You hear that, Clive? You hear this, Clive? Part two. Part two. Granddad. Granddad. Blah, 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 blue. Blah, 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 blue. I'm Shelly. Bah. I'm Shelly. Bah. In the comments section of part one, which I hope you all have seen by now, I noticed a lot of you guys actually remember really specific quotes from the LPS days too. Here are just a few that you guys brought up. A fart in a jar. <laughs> a fart in a jar. It's you again. What would you like? A fart in a jar. So you want to play Monopoly. Please. Butterfly. Butter, butter, butter. That was a cheesel moment. That was a cheesel moment. If there's a quote that stuck with you for all these years, please leave it in the comments below. A small handful of my LPS audience did come over to support me on this channel Thank you. But ultimately, I wanted to work on Jelly Jess as a fresh start without being associated with my old channel. People's interests change over time, and that's okay. This was my new beginning. So if you were keeping this toy channel secret this whole time while doing Jelly, how come you haven't been exposed yet? Ha ha ha, well, you see. I blocked out words you could type in the comment section. I saw so many LPS creators try new channels and directions and their comments would always be hit with this. And this seemed so discouraging for a brand new project, so I kept LPS out of my comment section. I even saw a video where someone was trying to be a detective and compare my voices from both channels. My name is Jess if you didn't know that and today it has definitely been interesting. All right, Sherlock Holmes. A lot of the comments that got automatically blocked were demanding the old LPS videos to come back, but there were some that were really empathetic and have stuck with me to this day. To whoever wrote this wholesome comment, thank you. And all of these other ones, it means a lot. However, now that the news is out and a lot of time has passed, I've removed those blocked words so you can feel free to discuss it in the comments below. We all know how these past two years went, but what I can say, there wasn't a time where I didn't enjoy making jelly content. This was also the year where I was more open with telling my friends about YouTube. I used to have nightmares during high school of being exposed for my old channel because I was just so ashamed. But things were different now. I loved making videos on Jelly Jess and figured it was time to share the news to some of my friends. One of my friends, as you know him as Joe, had a reaction I will never forget. Whoa. When his Uber came that night, it was time to say goodbye. He hugged me and lifted me in the air and said, I am so proud of you. I really want to say thank you to you guys. Whether you started watching 10 years ago, a year ago, or even just today, the fact that people watch my videos still blows my mind and I can't thank you enough. Or if you rediscovered me from your childhood, lol, hi. Or if you used to watch my old content and currently watch this channel but didn't know I was the same person, this must have been a jarring experience. <laughs> This video has helped me get a lot off my chest, but despite everything, there is nothing I regret about my time here on YouTube. I have literally grown up on this platform. Oh God. So yeah, it might be a little cringe looking back on it as an adult. However, it's allowed me to connect with people, be more open, share my life and create memories along the way. I wouldn't change any of this for the world. One of my biggest dreams as a child creating LPS videos was to one day be sponsored by the brand that makes the toys themselves, Hasbro. You know Hasbro, right? The literal multi-million dollar toy monopoly? No, like they literally own Monopoly. This was always a goal that was out of reach, something I never thought would happen. However, 
On the exact night I decided I was done making LPS videos, I received an email from a company linked to Hasbro and they were interested in sending me this new line of Littlest Pet Shops to open on camera and to promote them. Really? The day I quit? Blows my mind. I took their generous gesture and decided that was going to be my last video I was going to film and post on my LPS channel. So, uh... Yeah, I never got around to opening them. This package has been sitting in my cupboard for literally years. Um... Open! <laughs> oh! oh my god, we got some cardboard. Oh, come on! Ah! Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Pets 2019! I guess we'll see what we can do if we can open this. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Okay, first up, I want to say a big thank you goes out to Hasbro for sending me these free products. Um, time for the unboxing! They're telling me there's 150 pets to collect um, in 2019. Mm, I think I need my... Oh, okay. Oh my god, I hit the camera. Uh, we've got some little garbage bags. We're going to open it up. And we've got this little pet with a bow tie. So here are all 150 pets you can collect. Open it. Oh, I'm feeling pretty lucky with this one. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god! It's kind of cute, actually. It's a little sheet. Oh, oh my god, I don't know where it went. Oh, this one's kind of cute. It's like a deer. We've got... Oh, okay. Oh, we got a little Bernie. Oh! Oh, oh we got this bunny. Oh! oh. Gonna be a dog. Oh, my, oh, I thought it was a dog. It's not. Guys, I can't believe it. We're on our last one. Um, quick, quick. Oh! It's an elephant. Oh, my God, his nose. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. We didn't get any of the ultra lucky ones, but we got this super lucky um, topper. I mean, it doesn't really look that lucky. Okay, silly me. I can't believe I missed one. It was in the big tube of cheese. Crack. Oh, that is really disappointing. Um, I give up. I, I give up. I've learned a lot about being a content creator over the years, but the one thing that took me so long to come to terms with is the fact that I can't please everyone. Ending the old channel and moving on to this one was the right thing for me, and I know that people who truly support me will continue to do so. You all have shown me that. However, I will always have a soft spot for LPS. I wouldn't be here without them after all. I'm no longer worried about people's opinions regarding what I do. If you have a love for something, don't be held back by what people might think. We've only got one life, so you might as well give everything a try. Go start that YouTube channel you've always wanted to do. Go start roller skating, go learn how to play chess, or join a sports team. Self-expression is super important and will inevitably lead you to joy. And now, I'd like to leave the final note up to Izzy, who I think says it best. It's great that these plastic toys have allowed so many kids to express themselves, even if in the future they may look back and think it was a little cringe. That's fine, and it's fine to think the fandom or LPS tube are cringe, but at the end of the day, it's an outlet for kids to tell stories and make films and talk about something they love, which at its core is what fandom is all about. All these things and more show just how much these toys meant and still mean to kids and how that love can drive them to create amazing things and and learn new skills. Welcome to my new channel. She was one of the funniest creators in the golden age of LPS Tube. Send. She She's never officially quit, but she has been inactive since 2019. Second day. Hey, that's my fork in your belly! I totally didn't light this fire with matchsticks. Come on. Yes! Do you want to look at my resume? It's pretty hot. Step on the gas. Bye! But she has been active on her successful animation storytelling channel, Jelly Jeff. She still has the same 
energy and personality as she did on LPS Pet World. Well, that ain't good. Boom, you're done! Okay, okay, no. Business studies. You hear this, Clive? If you were still listening to me ramble, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Words can't express how thankful I am for every single one of you. Cheers for 11 years, and I hope to see you next time.